What does the adult Cloverfield monster look like? The Cloverfield monster is about 300 feet high and 1200 feet long. This monster weighs up to 5,806 metric tons, and that's about roughly 11,612,000 pounds. To put that in perspective, a blue whale weighs 200 tons or 441,000 pounds. This thing is almost as heavy as the Eiffel Tower. Godzilla 2014 weighs 164,000 tons, and he's 350 feet or 106.7 meters tall. Even though the Cloverfield monster and Godzilla are roughly the same size, the Cloverfield monster is 158,194 tons lighter than Godzilla. This was just done for perspective, and the Cloverfield monster we saw in the original movie Cloverfield is just a baby, so what does the adult look like? Goodness me, if that thing was a baby, then it's terrifying to imagine how large the adult would be. Well, we actually saw the adult at the end of Cloverfield Paradox. In actuality, it has been confirmed that this monster, which is clearly the adult form of the Cloverfield monster, is in fact the same monster from the first movie, even though that monster was presumed dead. The fact that we see the Cloverfield monster clearly rising above the clouds means that it is in fact monumentally huge. We can even see mountainous landscapes in the background right before it raises its head over the clouds. You can tell it's an adult as well because it's no longer white but has more of a brown scaly feature. Alright, so this thing has to be pretty large for it to be well over the clouds. So, first order of business, to get an estimate on what its height is, we have to look at how high the clouds are. Get ready for a little lesson on clouds, and this is important because it might help you to type other kaijus in the future. Alright, hold on to your butts. Clouds are identified based on the height at which they sit in the sky, and there are four types of clouds. There are cumuloform clouds, or cumulus clouds, which are tall and fat fluffy clouds that look like cauliflower. There are cirrus clouds, or cirroform clouds, that are wispy and thin flat clouds that look like curls of hair. Nimbus clouds, or nimbuform clouds, that are fluffy, round clouds that bring rain. And stratus clouds, or stratoform clouds, very flat clouds with no particular shape that look like blankets that hang low in the sky. Okay, based on this cute little cloud diagram, cirro clouds, they're clouds that form at an altitude between 16,500 to 23,000 feet which is exceptionally high. Cumulo clouds sit between a few hundred to a few thousand feet above the Earth's surface. Stratus clouds are these blanket of clouds that sit between the middle to upper parts of the atmosphere. The altostratus sit at mid-level, 12,000 to 18,000 feet, while the cirrostratus are higher up, 16,000 to 45,000 feet. Okay, now that we have that full lesson out of the way, let's look at the scene. These are clearly lower hanging clouds because we can clearly see types of cirrus clouds way above the monster before we see these ones. Let's look again. Also, you can tell based on the landscape that we can see from behind, these clouds are sitting pretty low. These clouds are also blanketed clouds, so they're a type of strato clouds, but they also have some definition to them, like cumulus clouds, which also sit low. These clouds are documented as strato cumulus clouds. So these clouds are a combination of strato clouds that look like blankets and cumulus clouds that look like cotton candy. They are strato cumulus clouds as well. Strato cumulus clouds sit at a low altitude of about 2400 meters or 8000 feet. The Cloverfield monster is higher than these clouds, so let's just say, to be generous, that he sits at 2,500 meters or 8,202 feet, which would probably make it almost 33,000 feet long. Based on these estimates, the adult Cloverfield monster that we see at the end of Cloverfield Paradox is about 8,202 feet high. Godzilla from 2014's movie is 350 feet high. 
The adult Cloverfield monster is 7,852 feet taller than Godzilla and 7,902 feet taller than its baby form we see in the original movie. The adult Cloverfield monster would be able to inhale Godzilla like a droplet of water and Godzilla's atomic breath would be like its eye drops. The thing is massive. Our cities would all be destroyed, that's for sure. Also, based on the fact that it's much more scaly and its skin looks harder than it did in the first movie, it's going to be that much harder to kill it. So, what do you guys think about this? How did you envision the adult version of the Cloverfield monster? Thanks for watching. This has been Altiori. You ask, we answer.